never get free Lamb to the slaughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water The price of your greed is your son and your daughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water Look me in my eyes Tell me everything's not fine All the people ain't happy Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now, before we begin our story, I want to thank everyone for, you know, getting channel to 6,000. Never thought I would get to that point in the short time this channel's been active. I've had this channel for a little bit, but I haven't uploaded it till recently. Since the pandemic has been happening, all the, you know, stuff that's been going on in the world right now. I originally made this channel, you know, just for fun. It's still for fun, regardless. I thank you guys for all the support. And I could easily mod monetize my channel, but I don't see the point in it. Because once I monetize my channel, it's going to feel like a job more than something, something fun. Because if it's not fun, then I won't feel like doing it. And with my personality... When I go to work, I don't want to. I don't want to be there. I want to go home and relax and think of ideas to get this, you know, get some ideas out of my head onto um, audio form for you guys. So that's my my two say on that part. I'm gonna run a couple things that you know, a couple comments I've had in the past and more recently here. Now, now if you've been around watching my channel for a little bit, you know I don't follow the status quo. I don't follow other whatever what they do. I had a comment saying something about my stories not being in what if. I was being very respectful to the guy or kid. I don't know how old he is or he or she. Don't know. Don't care. Literally, you don't know what a what if is. Uh, what if this is actually a story itself. So, yeah, I don't... There's no magical rules that you have to follow or guidelines for a what if. A what if is actually a story that you make up. Now some what ifers follow more closely to the canon than most. I, I don't do that. If you, like I said before, if you see my channel, watch my content before, I don't follow the status quo. I try, I'm not afraid to do new things. Some ideas hit, some ideas get get hate hated on that's fine it is how i like i like to experiment in my what ifs to find the best content for you guys the res and your comments are essential you know they're important for my what ifs to see what i improve and what to do with them stuff like that most of my dislikes are from my haters that's understandable those people are not important to me. The people that actually like my stories and listen to it without, you know, listen to half of my what if and just, just complaining in the comments for just, just to freaking complain and dislike without even giving the what if even a shot. That's what I find irritating. They're not important. So, those guys could, you know, screw off. I'm a nice guy. I try to be. I try to be respectful, you know. I've seen a couple comments. I I don't like chew out, you know, you guys. As long as you know you're being reasonable. And I'm I'm more up for the debate. I've uh, I've um debated a couple of my what ifs with, with you guys. A civil a civil debate. But some but some people you just can't reason with because you know they're right and they totally think you're wrong. They can't change their mind. It's like hitting the wall. It's just they're 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 pretty stubborn. Now, if you guys, if one of you guys decide to make a what if that I've done, go for it, man. Because I believe not all what uh, what ifers believe this, but I believe no one owns the right to idea. It's idea. No one owns that idea ever. When it comes to what ifs. As long as you don't follow, like, you copy someone's story, I, it, 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 it's all fair game. Some whatevers might, might not agree with me. That's fine. That's their own opinion. I care less. 
But I truly believe, uh, what if is no one owns the idea. Let's just run back a little, run back a little time before we start our what if. When my channel was fairly new, I made a uh, pride what if from Full Metal Alchemist. Apparently some smaller channel at the time. I don't know, I don't remember his channel name. I really don't care because, um, he's kind of a, he was trying to get credit for something that he has no right to get credit for. He's telling me he, he owned the idea to, for the pride what if. I tell him, no, you don't. As long as I didn't get, as long as I didn't copy your story, you don't own shit. Period. He tried to, try to get me to give him a shout out. I'm like, no. I'm not give you a shout out because you've, because we have a similar idea. And by the time he figured it out, we had the same idea around the same time. But I hate people like that. Just, just, uh, just try to get credit from people's hard work without putting the credit in himself. Just because my channel was a little bigger than his. Now, let's, let's talk about this for a second here. Sorry guys, I will get to this story here in a second here, but look at my, um, when, when, when it comes to new ideas, look at my, um, what if Deku was, um, fem what if female Deku was Shoto Todoroki's twin sister? Now, the original version, uh, I took, I Vano snap Deku out of existence just because, you know, I want to see if, so, how the reaction was. It got some decent likes and it got a lot of dislikes for some reason because, you know, people don't like new things apparently. So, you know, I change it and that one's my most popular female Deku of, of yet. And don't worry guys, I'm going to get back into it. I'm just, for this month, this what if will be running we're already six minutes. We need to get this start. This is story going, but for this month, this what if is going to be a thing for the whole month. Then I'm gonna get back to my um, Simio Deku. So there's that, and we'll continue with the list I have down, like um, Jugger Sun Deku. Then Warden, Warden Inflation Deku is going to be in the same story of Joker Deku. So I'm combining them into one. And people are saying about you can't have two MCs. Yeah, I can because it's not going to take away, you know. The importance of both those characters. It's going to be an interesting story. You just, you guys, you just got to give it a chance. All right. Now this is a what if Deku had a ice quirk name. Ah, oh, forgot Jack Frost, part one. Now one of my subscribers gave you know, gave a pretty decent name for um Inka's hero name. I was debating the Ice General or Ice Empress. Let's go with Ice Empress because that's more fitting for her at least. And for um, Asashi, I haven't made him a mind this just yet. But I'll figure out his name eventually. Here. As Inko walks in, grab the bucket of water, throws it as Izuku. Get up, Izuku. It's time to start. It's time to get moving. As he's like, what's your problem, Mom? It's it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Exactly. It's from now on. You should, you should get used to this time frame. Because you'll be doing this every morning. Get up. We're going to the base. I want you to dress and downstairs in about 10 minutes. Understood? Yes, Mom. Very well. See you down there. As she walks off. It's ten minutes pass. As Izuku walks down. Alright, I'm dressed, Mom. When are we leaving? Um, I don't think so. You need to eat first. As. Very well, Mother. Now. This training's going to be quite brutal. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be quite tough on you, my son. But it needs to be done. I will not have you drag this family name down. You have responsibilities that you need to uphold. Especially when you get to UA. As easy as we, what does UA have to do anything? I have never said anything about that. Exactly, son. You're going to UA. Why? 
because it's family tradition. My, I went to UA. Your father went to UA. Even your grandparents went to UA. It's a family tradition. And I'm not going to have you break it. Is that clear, young man? Yes, mother. Good. Let's go. I get in the car as they drive for a couple hours. As Inko, here, take this. What's this? It's a it's a uh, identity card. You need uh, you need one to go freely in the base. We're here. As they get to the front of the military base, as they go, as they drive and they wait to the front guard. Miss um, General Inko, what are you doing here? I'm doing a little family training. As they hand over the card, thank you, General. As they salute, you're free to go. As they drive through the base, getting the complex, as e as easy to see several soldiers run, doing their own business. You, yes, General Inko. I need you to gather the equipment for for training. My, I'll be training my boy here. Understand, General. I'll have everything ready for you. Thank you. As they get outside as... Alright, put this on. What is this, mother? It is weighted gear. You're going to run this aqua course without using your cork. You've become too... I'm not going to have you be too reliant on using your cork. There's going to there's gonna be times where you won't be able to use your cork in certain situations. The rest of the heroes are, the rest of the heroes don't understand that. Bunch of idiots, but nevertheless. I'm not going to be raising, huh, I'm not raising an idiot or a weakling. So put it on and get ready to run the Ospo course. As Izuku spends a couple hours on the Ospo course running without using the cork climbing a wall, that was quite difficult. As Izuku's Breathing heavy. <sighs> Giving up already, son? No, mom. Then, then continue. As he does that for the full day as he collapses on the ground. Huh, <sighs> good job. Good first day. Get something to eat, rest up. We're going to increase the waiting gear tomorrow. Are you serious, mom? Yes. We're gonna see what's your what what what's your max weight. We're, I'm easing you into it. After we figure out your max weight, we'll work on that. Then we'll work on hand to hand combat, firearms strategy, and normal schooling. What? Am I supposed to get back in school in two weeks? You're not going back to that school, not for a while. You'll be. You are be you will be continuing at least your first finish your year your year of school in here. I'm not gonna have you doing your little exapades, causing trouble, and giving us a bad name. Like I said, you have certain responsibilities that you need to uphold. As a mother, it's my job to keep you in line. Unlike your father, that doesn't discipline you for some odd reason. I need a... I need a correct... Certain activities that you like been doing. Now, I suggest you get, eat, get ready for bed, and we're going to start fresh in the morning. I think Ziku walks off as the commander walks in. Oh, com Commander, as Inka, ah, General, it's been a while. Who's the boy? New trainer? Uh, new trainee? No, it's my son. Huh, so that's the son of yours. Going pretty hard on the boy, are you? No, um, tomorrow's gonna be a lot more tougher. I know your training can be quite harsh sometimes. General Inko? 
most of our recruits don't usually survive your training. You should try to go more easy on the boy. No, I ref I appreciate your um, concern, sir. But my son is, he's tougher stock. He needs to be pushed. I've been too lenient in the past. It's time I ranked up his training. He will either adapt or he'll fall either way. It's my job as a mother to, to direct him to the right course. Good day, sir. As, as she's been known to be quite vicious when come to train, that's why they start calling her the Empress. All the cadets. As the next day pro progressed, As the first day turned into a week, a week turned into months, as Inko's training regimen, proper diet, training a bit of strength, but mostly focusing on his, um, agile, oh sorry, his reflex abilities, he's more agile, a lot more fast, so he's not buff, he's not going to be like a buff like All Might, but he's going to be a lean built. Has plenty of strength and fast enough to to take someone down without even using his cork. As she's as she's chose this training very carefully to make sure he doesn't have a stunted growth from weight training. Because that's a thing apparently, so and training in his cork. His resistance to the cold. Now He's not totally immune to his cork, but he's pretty, he has a high tolerance for, for the cold. But what his tolerance is nowhere near other people's tolerance. So if he like unleashes his cork temperature, he could easily kill a lot of people. High, a high, a hypothermia, you know. As Inko eventually Broke him of his little habit of pulling pranks, and he becomes a little more serious. He has at times where he likes to play around, but he's becomes a lot more serious. As she worked on his quirk majorly, she has plans for him. As as we cut to a scene where Ezekiel is in the ring, oh, you know, a little fighting ring. As Inka walks in, all right, son. Time for your final test. Let's see how much you learn over the over this year. A year has passed, so. As Izuku and Inko get into fighting stance, as they both fire a couple eye shards at each other, as as they um as they cancel each other out, as Izuku rushes in, as Inko goes into a kick, as Izuku jumps up catches her leg as he um he's balancing himself upside down as he flips over her shoots a couple shards in midair while he's flipping over her as as Inko covers her hand and her arm and eyes blast as she hits out of the way as Izuku lands on his feet as Inko blitz Izuku grabs his hand arm Put it around his back as she sweeps his feet as she places a ice ice claw next to his throat. You lose, son. Very impressive, actually. You've you've become quite talented in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Only thing you're lacking is actual combat experience. But that's enough for today. You pass. As she hugs Izuku, I know I've been rough on you, my dear boy, but it need to be done. Yes, mother, I understand. I know I was being, I was causing trouble for you and dad. That's, that's good. I only want the best for you, son. It's the way I do it, the way I do things. I might be harsh sometimes, but I do care. What's... Why don't you get get um get dressed, take a shower, 
and we'll head home. You've been away for far too long. Yes, Mother, as... As Izuku and Inko walks through the front door of their house, they finally made it back after a couple of drives, a couple hour drives. As is how she's, you know, a little bit dusty. Oh, you're back, Inko. Dear, why are you covered in blood? Oh, I had a little spout with the fire freak earlier today. Something about him telling me to buy out of his business and stop taking down his, his targets. He's an idiot. He's probably threatened because I finally made it to the number third spot. He's afraid I'm gunning for him and exactly that's what... And I am, actually. Can't wait the day to come. Can't wait the day to come see his face when I take his spot. It's going to be priceless. Ah, Izuku. You're not dead, at least. That's good. Guess... Your mother has the tendency to be kind of harsh on training. I said, no, I trained with her once, and now it's the last time. <laughs> Excuse me? If you weren't so lazy, you would be number two by now. Whatever, Inka. It's good to see you, my boy. We'll catch up later, but I probably should get cleaned up before your mother kills me. As Asashi walks away. <sighs> As Ingo, as Ingo sighs, that man, such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Sir, what's the deal with you and the Todoroki family? Father's always been gun ho messing with him. And all I've heard from both of you is negative things. So I don't know much about the Todorokis besides their fire users. The Todorokis are bad news. The fact that Endeavor is the second number of him, the second rank hero is laughable. The fact that Ray actually married that man, she's nothing but a traitor. As, as, um, Izuku's confused. You see, son, me and the Mrs. Todoroki is, was my friend until she decided to betray everything. To form, as she's up, she's getting irritated, as she's like, long story short, we're no longer friends. The one she got married to that fire, fire freak, as your father says, that's why you're going to UA, to, to, to knock the Todorokis down a peg or two. You're going to go to UA, and you're going to, and you're going to be a number one spot in everything. You're going to bring down the Todorokis from day one. Mother, I don't know. I really don't get your whole hatred between me and the, <laughs> the fire quirks. Yes, they're, they're hotheads and normally have temper problems. That's enough, Izuku. That doesn't matter. One day you'll understand once you get to UA. Why don't you, um, get ready for bed? We have some things to take care of in the morning. Now, Inko doesn't totally hate Ray, but, yeah, their friendship took a big, um, dive. Inko cut all ties with her once she found out that she had to arrange a marriage with that man. She's met a Devra several times, and she despises that man with a passion. He's way too, um... Brutal on his kids. And uh, the Midoriyas know about rough training with um, with his children. The, the fact that Ray um, allows this is mind-boggling to her. As Inko has occasionally visit Ray in the mental hospital. Yeah, she got placed in because her she kind of broke her limit when um, Endeavor was training Shota. Endeavor's first choice for arranged marriage was Inko, but Inko flat out refused the offer and told him to get the hell out. 
come back again, I'll freeze you to death. Uh, that was a thing, and she despises that man. As the next morning progressed, as Izuku gets down from his room, as he sees a uniform on the table. Mother, what's this? This is your new school uniform. I enrolled you in a more... More superior school than your last. You'll be starting your second... You'll be starting your second year there. Now, Yuzuku, have you taken your cork suppressor pills this morning? Yes, mother, I've taken them. Good. Can't have you go around killing other kids at your new school. Now, the daughter of a, the Todoroki family does attend there, so I want you to stay away from her. You understand? Yes, mother. Very good. Now, I'll be drop. Get in the car. I'll be dropping you off your first day of school. Great. I get to go to school with a bunch of rich kids. This is going to be fun. Quiet, Midoriya. Quiet, Izuku. You tend to forget we're rich as well. Yeah, but we don't act like spoiled little brats. That is true, but try to get along with people. And don't rub anyone the wrong way. You tend to do that sometimes. As you have Momo and um, Shota in class, as a bunch of kids are whispering to each other. All right, class. That's attention. We have a new student. Now the fur. Sorry, yeah. First day of second year of middle school has been gone for a couple weeks, so we have a new transfer student. That show to is like great. A new kid. That's the last we need here. As long as the new kid's not a troublemaker, I think we'll be fine. After all, I'm the class president after all. If, he, if this new kid starts trouble, I'll have to tell him in line. Like I did with some of the delinquents. The other troublemaker kids that were in our class prior. The young man walks in. As everyone sees the blue eyes, the white hair. Ah, you're here. Please introduce yourself to class. As Izuku gets in a posture and... I am Izuku Midoriya. As, where's my seat, Sensei? And Quirk? <sighs> Fine. Quirk's iced, that's all you need to know. Will you please direct me to my seat, Sensei? Yes, it's right over there. Thank you. As he walks, as everyone's disappointed that he didn't tell Ice, like, they're curious, but all the kids, Midoriya, I've heard that name before. It can't be, isn't that the... Is he related to the um, Ice Empress and, and that one other hero that's always butting heads with a Dever? I've seen him fight a couple times on the news. Seems like their family and his family have a beef somewhat. As everyone's, you know, talking, teachers like, shut up, everyone pay attention. As the day progress, they progress as Izuku stick to himself. As he noticed a little, a guy following around Momo and um, Shoto, as he has a camera. As he sees that, he's like, huh, huh, must be one of those people that mother told me about. Let's put a stop to this. As he touches the dude's shoulder, as the guy's like, mind your business, what you want. I, I don't know exactly what you're trying to pull, man, but it's going to stop here. It's like, I'm not doing anything. Oh, really? As he grabs the camera, as he freezes it, as he sees the picture, huh, not doing anything, as he freezes it and crushes it, I'll be keeping an eye on you, kid. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I've heard, I've heard stories about people like you, and I do not approve. If you do this again, I'll freeze you alive. As he touches the wall, as it freezes, as he placed one finger on the wall. That will be you. Now get out of here.
before I get violent. It's like, you pay for this, man. I won't forget this. Yeah, keep yapping on. Whatever, you, you can't do anything to me anyways. You're nothing but huh, a pathetic piece, a pathetic waste of space of a human being. Git. As he runs off. Huh, idiot. Izuku looks, as he turns the opposite way, as Momo noticed what he did, she didn't have, she was going to interfere if something bad happened, but Izuku handled it pretty well. As you cut to a couple hours, it's near the end of the day. Must be Izuku, right? Yeah, what do you want? Let me probably introduce myself. I am Momo Yadarozu. And I did notice the little incident you had earlier today was that perv. Thanks, by the way. I don't think no one... they He's been following us, me and my friend, around for a while now. I've tried to get the school involved, but they won't do nothing about it because his family does donations for the school. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. As Izuku looks up at her, you're fine, I guess. I can't stand purrs. They piss, they irritate me. He's, he said, be careful, Izuku. He knows a bunch, he's involved with some Bad people he used to keep an eye out. Yeah, thanks for the warning, Momo, I guess. Well, I'll see you around as he gets up. As Shoto walks behind her, there you are, Momo. What are you doing over here? Oh, I was talking to the new guy, the new kid, Izuku, Midoriya. Guy's not too friendly, but he's not a bad guy. I'm a pretty good judge character. Oh, really? My father tends to disagree on you in that part. What do you mean, Shota? My father informed me of the Midoriya boy, the Midoriya guy coming into the school, told me to stay away from him, stuff like that. Apparently, my family, his family, have some sort of history. Don't know much about details about it. But screw, but you know what? I will talk to him when he's, I'll definitely talk to him to piss my dad. If it pissed my dad enough, that's a good enough reason to. As my mom was like, sure stuff. Sh All right, uh, Shota, whatever you say. Momo sees Shota touching her scar. Does that still hurt? No, Momo, it, it doesn't. I will never forgive my father for doing that. I won't never forgive my father for what he for what he made my mother do. It's his fault. I despise that man. So talking to Midoriya would piss him off and huh, I can't why well, I, huh, I wonder what my father's face would be if we actually had became friends. Uh, she's just yeah, that's how their relationship will start off as that's to piss her father off and it will blossom into something different later on in this series. Hey, Zuku. He checks his watch as his known to pick him up today as he answers the phone as Sorry, kid, but I mean your mother has some hero job. You're going to have to Should we call you want to get a ride from one of the drivers? No, father. I'll I'll walk from here. Maybe clear my head a little bit. Rough day at school, kid. <sighs> Idiots. Understandable. That's what happens when you get into the huh, school population and all. You didn't kill anyone, did you? No, father, I didn't. I ran into a perv, but I took care of the thing. Non-violently, of course. <sighs> Good job, kid. Well, I'll see you later tonight. As Izuku is walking as... The guy that he had had to come in contact with was with the camera. As he, he hired some older kids from the higher grade of the middle school. That's him. Is that him? I need you to teach him a lesson. Interesting. 
then we're going to have to double the charge. Double the, the pay. I don't care. Just take care of him. Thank you. Plus, you're doing business with you. All right, all right, you two, get ahead of them. We'll cut them off in the alleyway. Easy money. Let's go. As he's walking down the alley, it's two older kids walk up to him. <sighs> Great. I was trying to be, trying not to get any conflict today. But apparently, that's not how it's going to happen. Hey, you kid, come here. We, I need to have a little chat with you. If I were you, whoever you guys are at, whoever you guys are, I suggest you get out of the way. It's not going to end. It's not going to end good for you guys. <laughs> Look at the goal on this guy. This one has a backbone. It's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be a pleasure to. To put you down in the dirt. Izuku takes off his school coat as he drops his backpack as he sets his coat down as he unbuttons his tie. All right, let's see. Let's see. We got. Let's see what you boys got. Come at me. As they all, as a couple of them, as Izuku sees the bats, huh? Weapons. Figures. Your lot would be. It seems. Eh, I could see you're the type to carry weapons like little punks. Very. It doesn't matter. You're still gonna lose. As a couple guys rush him, as Izuku dodges out of the way. As he gets behind them, grabs the bat. As he chokes them with the bat, grabs the bat and chokes him with the handle. As the dude falls unconscious on the ground, as he throws the bat, hitting the wall. Who's next? As they all rush him, as Izuku's taking him down, very, very skillfully, as they're just nothing but punks. They have no fighting style. They're just straight up random attacks. This is boring. I figured you guys would be actually tough. The ringleader goes to attack Izuku as he dodges, grabs the guy by the throat, as he very forcefully pins him to a wall as he has him above his, he, as he's holding him up by his neck. Who put you up to this? It's like, huh, not telling you anything, kid. Punk. As Izuku touches him, as he freezes him a little bit, as he starts screaming, now, who put you up to this? As he's torturing him, it was some rich kid. As he, as Izuku gets his name, huh, seems like I'll be paying him a visit later on let me go kid let me go man as Izuku socks him in the face as he as Izuku pulls him out of it as he falls to the ground <sighs> guess I should get out of here as Izuku picks his coat up with his on with his tie back on as he picks his boot back and leaves as the kids are all out 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 of commission As you have the kid who was watching the fight, as Izuku noticed him, as he smiles, huh. So he's the watching type. Interesting. As, it's like, damn it, those muzzle heads couldn't do even, even a simple job right. Izuku turns a cover, uh, turns a corner as the dude, the kid's following him. As he gets to a dead end, as he did it on purpose, I know you're there. To think you would actually go that far to hire some th some little punks to take me out. Very stupid of you. I was trying to be nice. Now no one can hear you scream. Touch me. And I'll have my my fam my parents get you expelled. As he starts laughing. <laughs> really? You have no idea. Do you know who I, who I do know who my family is? And she's like, no, why would I care? It's simple. Your little rich little family, it's nothing to pair to mine. Who would they believe? A spoiled little shit? Or the... Or the third number one hero's son? 
As what? Yes, m let me proper introduce myself. I'm Ezekiel Midoriya, son of pro hero Ice Empress. I saw a comment asking to name him King Cole, just as a joke, but I'm almost sure to do that because, you know, that'll be, it. that'll be interesting. And pro hero King Cole, as his eyes widen. As Ezekiel turns, walks over, as he goes in the sprint, as he kicks him side ahead, as he goes flying against the wall, as Ezekiel has his foot on his chest, painting him to a cement wall or a brick wall. Even with my cork being suppressed, you are nothing. You hear me, rich boy? I might be, <laughs> I might be wealthy as well. My family's quite wealthy. But I don't let that money go to my head, unlike you, maggot. Now, I'm going to make this simple. If you cause any more problems with to me, or you continue your current activities, let's, I, then we're going to find out how long you could survive in below, below zero temperatures. As he freezes his shoulder, as he screams. That's a warning. I suggest you keep your head down, perv. As he kicks him side of head, knocking him out. <sighs> ah, no, I'm probably going to get, let's probably get home before it gets dark. As he's walking, as he finally gets home. And we're going to probably stop it there. Yeah, we're at like 40. Yeah, we're, we're a good spot to stop it here. Hope you guys have a good night and day, judging by time zones. All right, bye.